Adam Arishon is the soul. This soul went through a shattering. As in the example of the world of Nikodim, where the partsuf of the world of Sag, which became the world of Nikodim, to Katnut, and then in Gadlut, it shattered. That's like the example of like Adam Arishon. Meaning the shattering already exists in the upper system, but the correction of the shattering does does not? No. But he says here, you don't have the giver that does not give what he ha- what he does not have in him. So he didn't have the correction that we are now causing him? Maybe I'm asking incorrectly. I don't understand. When we pray, when we ask for the Creator to give us the forces, and then the filling, the masach, everything that we need, we receive from Him. So we receive. You're asking, how can it be that in the Creator, all those um, preparations that He's giving us for correction? Yes. Because there's the existence of Adam Rishon fully there. It's only towards us that the shattering was. If you're asking whether Adam Rishon, the corrected Adam Rishon, is in the end of creation, of course he is. That includes the shattering inside of it? Including the shattering within him? What is that? Why is that important? We are in a state that we're looking to unify our points in the heart. And we see also in the world clear there is a very, very strong effort to understand this. It's, it feels that it's like we're missing something. We're missing the presence of the Creator. So, yeah. how... I don't really know how to ask this, but how does this thing we're lacking here already exist in the upper world? Gemara Tikkun fully exists in the upper world. And also you, nice, cute Asaf, is there with your nice chup and also in a corrected manner. Yes, there's no, one thing does not bother the other. Where is that deficiency, that same deficiency that we now need? Where does it exist in the root? The end of an act is the initial thought. There's the beginning and the end, they're both completely clear. But the beginning and the end needs to go uh, by the creature called Adam, or person, who needs to be incorporated with this whole process from beginning to end, and then he will be similar to the Creator. But towards the Creator, there's no problem. It's only relative to a man that it has to be revealed. So it means that because that of that our perception of reality isn't whole, isn't complete? Let's say I want you to be a good mechanic. Uh, he'll tell you. There, uh, where's Bill? Bill's here, yeah. So what does it mean to be a good mechanic? So I'm going to bring you to some Cadillac. And I say, you see it? Yes. Come tomorrow, I'm going to give it to you. You are happy, nice. You come the next day, the same Cadillac, only that it is all completely destroyed. You have to arrange it, prepare it, connect it back. So you have to know every part, what it's there and why it's there. It's not that you're taking some steering wheel and you think, oh, is this a steering wheel or is it a wheel? And what does it spin and what does it do? Maybe some other piece from the engine. Uh, Does it even belong to this or not? Maybe it's my vacuum cleaner. All kinds of things. You are learning all the details and the necessity for each of them all the way. And you collect those things and then you control the, the matter. The Creator wants us to control creation like He does. Therefore, relative to us, He shattered this creation and gave it to us so that we will do it. But 
We're not capable of doing so. It's different work than uh, collecting pieces of a, of a machine, and that's why we need him. And then we discover that the problem is not connecting creation, but rather to be like him. Like him, really. Meaning when we learn not the parts of creation, but how they need to be connected, how they need to work in their in a, the proper coordination between them. And then from that, from your actions, we get to know you. And then from that, I understand who the Creator is. Because He understands creation, He made creation, He created it, He manages it, He controls it. And in the end, I too come to the same things. Through the knowledge, through the understanding, through the ability, to, through everything, I identify with Him. Then I become like Him. Well, all of our work is to find to discover part after part that it's disconnected, shattered, and to reconnect them all together. First of all, we need to recognize that it's that it is a part. That's recognition of evil. Yes. <laughs> 